Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to take another look at what a derivative is. Let's start with this particular function, x equals 16t squared. Now x represents position and t represents time, and so this function represents the position as a function of time. And we can draw a table of values. We can say for particular values for time, let's say in seconds, we'll get a position, let's say in feet. So when t is equal to 0, x equals 0. So that means we're we're standing there at a particular position, and when time equals 0, we haven't gotten anywhere yet. When time is equal to 1, x is now 16. So after one second, we now have moved a distance of 16 feet. After two seconds, we've now moved a distance of 64 feet. After three seconds, we've reached a distance of 144 feet. After four seconds, we've reached a distance of 256 feet. So you can see that you cover more and more distance every subsequent second. Now, what does the derivative of this particular function mean? Remember, the derivative tells you the slope of the function. It tells you how fast the function is changing. So in this case, it would tell you how fast the position is changing. So let's write some of those down. So the derivative, well, it can either be the slope of the function. It can be how fast the position is changing. And then finally, when you think about it, how fast is position changing? That's really the velocity of the particular object. So this can also mean the velocity. And that's exactly what that is in this particular case. If x is a function representing position, then the derivative of that represents the velocity of the function. So let's go ahead and find the derivative. So in this case, since the independent variable is t and the dependent variable is x, we can say dx dt is the derivative of that function, is the derivative of x with respect to the independent variable t. And so using that technique again, we take the exponent, move it to the front, so this is equal to 2 times 16 times t to the 2 minus 1, subtracting 1 from the exponent, so in this case this is equal to 32t. This is the derivative of the original function, what does it mean? It's the slope of the function. It tells you how fast the position is changing. It tells you the velocity of the object. So in this case, you can say that the velocity v is equal to the derivative of x with respect to time. It's the derivative of the position with respect to time. In this case, it's equal to 32t. So this tells you how fast the object is moving. All you have to do is plug in a particular value for time. So again, setting up a table of values. We can plug in certain values for t, and we get certain values for velocity. So t would be in seconds, velocity would be in, in feet per second, feet per second. And of course, velocity is equal to the derivative of x with respect to time. It's the derivative of the function. So when t is equal to 0, notice that means the velocity is equal to 0. When t is equal to 1, the velocity will be in 32 feet per second. I don't have to write the units. I have the units up there. When t is equal to 2, the object is moving at 64 feet per second. 3, that would be 96. And 4, that would be, looks like, 128 feet per second. Notice that the derivative in this case simply represents the velocity of the object. Since the original function represents the position as a function of time, the derivative represents the velocity as a function of time. And so therefore, we can then find out how fast the object is moving simply by finding the derivative of the original function. And there you see here's another application of why we use the derivative of functions.